every mind. You crazy for this? Soulful. It's like our responsibility to make us feel something. You know, to make people feel. Make people feel what we feeling. Hey yo. Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. I want to do this video to make people aware that the scammers are out there. The scammers are attempting to separate you from your money. And the reality is that they have already done it to a couple of people to the tune of a few thousand dollars. And so I became aware of this issue, this most recent issue from a guy by the name of Maurice, who is a comic book creator in Canada that has actually been here on the show. He reached out to me. He made me aware of this issue. And I immediately went into action, uh, reaching out to the company that was involved in the transactions uh, and I am taking a lot of heart in the fact that they have already taken some action. And I will talk about that here just in a moment. But uh, th this issue with facsimile comics is something that I have spoken about several months ago. I spoke about it as a possibility of something that could happen when I saw a massive influx and a steady influx of facsimile versions of Ultimate Fallout issue number four appearing on the CGC uh, list. The, the video that I put out every single month, this, this comic has been on the list. It's been number one. And I voiced some concerns with the possibility that something could happen with these facsimile comics because the real comic and the facsimile look very similar. In February of this year, I actually spoke about the reality of someone being scammed based upon a sale that took place, I want to say on January 8th or something like that on eBay. This this one was only a few uh, it was only maybe a hundred bucks. It was it was not a ton of money. But now fast forward several months, we are talking about thousands. We are talking about thousands of dollars that someone has scammed from other people. And so I want to actually dig into this a little bit uh, to make folks aware this is this is this is an issue, right? And so I wanted to um to do this video to try to share as much as I could based that I know about the situation. So first, I want to take a look at uh, this this sale here. And what I will tell you is that I do not believe that there is any identifiable information for the seller. My goal is not to try to put sellers on blast, but to drive awareness in the comic book community to maybe prevent people from being taken advantage of. But I do not believe that there is identifiable information here. Uh, but I at least wanted to make mention that that it's not my goal in the event that there is something that is uh, identifiable here on screen that you all can see. But essentially what we are looking at here is ultimate fallout issue number four. And you can see the date there, 10 uh, 2011, first appearance of Miles Morales. That is essentially uh, the title that has been given to this, this item that was being sold. And you can see the description there, new Miles Morales CGC label. There were 177 views of this comic and it sold on April 11th for $1,000. And uh, what you'll see here as I zoom into this, this low label a little bit, you can see it is a 9.6 with white pages. You can see Ultimate Fallout 4, the date is there. Uh, but what you don't see either on the front here or on the back is anything that actually says that this is a facsimile comic. There's nothing on the label from CGC that denotes that this is a facsimile. You can see here it's, it does say first appearance of the new Spider-Man, Miles Morales, poly bag removed. That is what the label actually says. And as you look at this comic, um, if you don't know what you're looking for, this looks like the real deal. So the question is, how, how do you know that this is a facsimile? It's right here. Literally right there on the cover is the, the telltale sign. The word Marvel is boxed in a red box. That's how you know that this is a facsimile. And this is honestly a very easy thing to miss. One, if you don't know what you're looking for, and two, if you're just not being careful, uh, you could easily overlook this, right? Um, this is the one major distinguishing mark between this comic and the real comic. It is that red box. The real version has the word Marvel 
on a black background, right? White Marvel on a black background. But again, you see here uh, $1,000 on April 11th. Now, uh, as I mentioned, th th you know, the scam is thousands of dollars. So, so as you would imagine, that is not the only one we're going to look at. So let me go ahead and take uh, this one off screen and see if I can actually share uh, the second example uh, that that we were able to find. And I think this is it right here. Um, and, and what you'll probably notice here, I, I think it was was clear. Um, both of these sales actually took place on myslabs.com, who has been a sponsor of the channel up until uh, just recently. But um, here you, you here you have another sale. This is Ultimate Fallout 4 CGC 9.8 first appearance of Miles Morales. This one was viewed 54 times and sold for $2,900. It sold for $2,900 on April 19th of this year. And as you look at the label again, what you see is that it is again the Miles Morales custom label from CGC, which does not say that this is a facsimile comic. You do, however, notice the the word Marvel is in that red box, and that is how you know that it is a facsimile comic. And so uh, again, we have another sale that has taken place just a few days after the first. Uh, for $1,000 and now $2,900, both of these taking place on myslabs.com. So as soon as I became aware of this issue, I actually reached out to the CEO of myslabs because as I mentioned, I've had a relationship with the company, uh, a very a very good relationship to be honest with you and, and one that I hope will be renewed here in the not too distant future. But I reached out to them and I made them aware of this sale. And, and about an hour after my initial email, I received a follow-up communication thanking me for making them aware of the situation and basically telling me uh, that that not only did one sale occur, but two sales, the two sales that we kind of identify. And it appears that the seller was the same. It is essentially the same person that appears to be running this scam first on April 11th and now on April 19th. Uh, and what I was told is that uh, they have, my slabs that is, has reached out to all of the parties involved and they are trying to see what can be done to make things right. And I can't remember the exact wording in the email, but that was essentially the gist of it. They are looking into it and they are trying to make things right. And I do not know as of this recording, what has transpired. Um, and if I am privy to that information, I will certainly communicate it, but huge shout out to Maurice up in Canada for making me aware and shout out to my slabs for taking some action. As soon as they became aware of it, they have immediately uh, looked into the situation. Now, one of the things that I, I did want to do is I wanted to kind of contrast what we just looked at a few seconds ago to the real deal. And so on uh, Go Collect, I pulled up the real version of Ultimate Fallout. And you can see here, if I make this a little bit larger, you can see that this is the first version. This is the, the real deal. You can see that the word Marvel is actually in white letters on a black background. Again, it is that red box that is the big differentiator between the facsimile and also uh, with, you know, the facsimile versus the real deal. And and the, the big issue here, honestly, is that Marvel probably should have thought about this. Marvel probably should have thought all the way through them releasing a facsimile that was so close to the original. Um, and the other part of it is, is that I wish that CGC had made uh, a different notation on the label to avoid this marketplace confusion that we are seeing right now. So uh, I wanted to like, at least make mention of that. But the other thing that I wanted to do while I have this open is that uh, there is actually a sale of a real Ultimate Fallout 4 using that exact same label that we just looked at from CGC. And so over here on the right hand side, if I can make that a little bit bigger, if I can make it, there we go. All right. So you, you can see here, 
Again, no red box around the word Marvel. This is that exact same label that we were looking at. Ultimate Fallout 4, Marvel Comics, 1011. It is literally the same label. When you scroll down and you look at the backside of, let me see if I can get to it, the backside of that label, again, there is no, no difference. There is no difference on the backside of this label between the facsimile version that uh, that we just looked at and the real version. So again, this is one of those situations where we we as buyers definitely need to be aware because there are definitely some, some bad agents out there that are trying to take advantage of us whenever they have an opportunity. And it, it, it honestly is a little bit of a shame that this has happened, uh, but I do applaud uh, my slabs for for going into action and trying to resolve uh, this issue. And I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Maurice for making me aware of this. Um, and and my hope is that this video will reach enough people that more people will be informed as to what is actually happening out there specifically with this comic. Um, but let's be honest, there are other facsimile comics that are also being released that are also very similar to the original uh, so while this is happening for Ultimate Fallout, there is the potential that we could see it happen for other facsimiles as well. So the more we know, hopefully, the better we are able to protect ourselves. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch. Uh, if you if you can help me out by spreading the word, by sharing this video, let's get the word out to more and more people and hopefully prevent some people from being taken advantage of. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram. Have Reggie Collects. Take care.